Hi, welcome to the Therapeutic Benefit of Games During Session, brought to you by Family and Children's Counseling Services. I am your host, Melinda Haynes. Many people, therapists sometimes included, have trouble seeing the benefits of playing games during session. Today, we are going to challenge that notion. Let's look at some of the reasons why games and play are so awesome in therapy. And if you're not currently doing games and playing in the therapy session, you will start as soon as you've heard this video. First of all, games and play are a child's native language. That's how they experience the world. That's how they communicate. That's how they learn and grow. Next, it helps the therapist build rapport, establish trust, and promote a safe healing environment. It's developmentally appropriate for teaching and communicating with people of all ages, especially children. Games are non-threatening. Kids, teens, and some adults don't always like direct conversation about their feelings. Next, it provides a safe space in between the child and the therapist to provide the opportunity for a natural healing relationship to grow. Okay, so it's easy to see how games are important to children, but how do we align this with treatment goals and document it? So the first few sessions, games are a great way to gather assessment data, to create safety, to build trust, and to establish a therapeutic alignment. Now take this example. We begin playing a game and we notice that the child is cheating. So instead of correcting and demanding compliance to game rules, thinking we're giving them some social skills, we instead focus on the relationship between the therapist and the child. So we might make a funny face and say something like, are you tricking me? And then we move on with the game. Now, this is a different reaction than what the child receives when playing and cheating with peers, siblings, or even parents. So we instead are sending a message of, I accept you even with your flaws. I am not here to correct you or ridicule you. This is a safe place for your heart. Game playing can improve the child's ability to sit with uncomfortable feelings, improve the ability to cooperate with others, reduce the number and intensity of tantrums, and help to improve social skills, such as the ability to take turns, cooperate, negotiate, win, and lose. Game playing can help the therapist and client engage in non-threatening eye contact, provide unspoken validation, which in turn can increase the child's self-esteem. It can help the child take initiative and help with problem solving. Game playing can help with decision-making skills, can decrease experiences of anxiety, can increase experiences of self-efficacy, can help the child create a sense of identity and increase their autonomy. Game playing can also provide an opportunity for safe touch, such as a fist bump or a high five. The interventions used in game playing are asking coping questions and identifying strengths, teaching positive affirmations, using paradoxical intention, unconditional positive regard, modeling healthy interpersonal skills. We all know it can be a difficult challenge to quantify and put into language what happens in therapy, but it's part of our job. So here are a few ideas for verbiage to use in your notes. Client engaged in targeted activity to increase social skills related to cooperation with others. Client identified and processed the life skill of self-regulation. 
client engaged in targeted activity to increase frustration tolerance. What games have you used in the therapy session? What other treatment goals, intervention techniques, or wording have you used? Post your comments below. Thanks for watching.